Hey, Edwin from Making an Impact here, owner of Fox Sound Advertising, and I'm just going to jump into exactly what you came to this video for, breaking free from business burnout and what to do if you find yourself saying, I hate my business in 2023. Now, you might be feeling just overwhelmed or you just don't enjoy your business anymore. You don't enjoy the work you're doing anymore. You might feel unmotivated. You might regret getting into this business in the first place. Maybe you're successful, but don't feel like you're making a meaningful impact. Uh, you don't know what your zone of genius is. You don't have enough cash flow to justify hiring a team so you can focus on your zone of genius and so on. We're going to cover all this and some ways to mitigate that. Now, in a minute, I'll also show you how you can use a low time high leverage method to improve the relationship you have with your business by improving the health of your business and its customer flow. But before we improve the health of your business, we got to talk about you. We got to start with you, right? Let's start by improving you. Now, if you are anything like me, you've probably at some point, if not right now, it's probably why you're watching this video, you have probably felt very unmotivated, very stuck in um, your business and literally been this guy, right? You just go to the cell phone and it's late at night. You're all alone because it's lonely to be an entrepreneur sometimes. Um, and you just, you're avoiding, right? You like, I literally to, to be vulnerable, I, uh, have suffered with depression a lot to growing up and, you know, business has definitely brought that out at times. Um, and you know, there's, there's nothing worse feeling than when you get stuck in these, you know, just dark areas where you're like, you're totally unmotivated by the business, you're burnt out and you know, there's all these things you could be doing, there's all these things you should be doing to work on it, to build it, um, but you start feeling ashamed and guilty and that starts feeding more of the depression or more of the avoidant behavior. And you know now you're binge watching YouTube or doing whatever isn't productive um, and you, you get caught in this awful cycle um, and it just kind of keeps self-perpetuating. You know that you are letting others down because now you're not going out there putting yourself in the marketplace and serving others so again that cranks up some more of that shame and guilt and that you know now you're feeling depressed about being depressed and it's just a nightmare if if you've ever uh, experienced any of that and what we want to talk about here today is a few like really quick fast action steps that you can take to mitigate this to reduce this if not completely eliminate it now a first tip I will give you, just like immediately you can do this 100% of the time, anywhere, this instantly works to break yourself out of that burnt out feeling, um, to break yourself out of unmotivation or depression, whatever it is, this little tactic, this little technique will just work anytime, anywhere, no matter what it is. And it is smiling. Okay, it's literally as simple as smiling. Now you got to remember to do it, but this comes from um, a story I remember hearing. You know, Toby Tony Robbins, one of his talks, talking uh, about like there's so many studies that have shown where you know patients who were on like you know depression uh, antidepressants um, or other medications where they take a control group and they'd let them, you know, continue using the medication uh, for a month. And then they would take the other group and they would just have them literally just physically smile more often. They just kind of keep reminding them, Hey, make sure you smile. And, and literally within a month, there's so many studies showing things like this kind of similar things. The people who were smiling and um, just doing things physically that improved their mood they were off the antidepressants. A, a, a big percentage of them were off the, the antidepressants. And I just, I can testify, you know, for myself, uh, like um, anytime, like, like a lot of times I struggle would, you know, I would struggle in the mornings, you know, waking up feeling so unmotivated about the business. No, nah, I don't want to do this. And the, 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 the hidden side of the coin, once you've achieved, you know, time freedom and financial freedom is okay. Now you don't really have to get up out of bed and go to work. Like every day you can get away. Like that's kind of been the curse that like, you can get away with just sloughing off and being lazy um, and, you know, watching movies all day or something stupid. And so, uh, you know, one way to break through that is literally, I just smile. And another thing Tony Robbins pointed out is like, get active, start moving your body. So I literally, as goofy and as silly as it, as it is, I remember the first time I heard this, I was sitting on an airplane 
Um, and, you know, we've been on this flight for several hours, you know, everybody's stiff. We're all kind of like, uh, you know, like, you know, you're all getting irritated. Like, let's hurry up and get there. And I just remember listening to this and being like, huh, that's goofy. And I literally just raised my arms on the airplane in my seat and just like kind of pretend like I was going like, hooray, yippee. And I just started smiling and nobody else even noticed, you know, I was like, all right, this is going to be embarrassing, but whatever I did it. And instantly my mood improved. The rest of that flight went so fast. I was, um, you know, sitting up alert. Um, I did, you know, end up like unbuckling my seatbelt and got up and just stretched for a minute and just doing that little bit of physical uh, motion instantly improved my mood. I'm sure you've heard about this. Don't mean to be, you know, beat a dead horse with it, but like that is just something you can do 100% of the time, no matter what. Now to get a little deeper, um, you know, the, the, the next thing I would recommend is figure out what your values are. And if, if you need to like a little exercise for how to do this, um, let me find the book here. This, this book in, you know, this is, this is a book kind of written more for younger adults, kind of in their early twenties. Um, it's called mastering adulthood, go beyond adulting to become an emotional grown up. Now, again, we're focusing right now on like, Hey, me or you like our stuff first, because I, I've found, and a lot of my mentors have pointed out business problems are almost always personal problems. <laughs> and um, this book is one of the most effective books I've ever read on dealing with the personal problems um, that, that we might have, especially as people who have you know big goals, high dreams. This channel is all about making an impact. So you're not here just because you want to make some money and you know go slough off and be able to watch movies all day. You're here because you want to make money so that you can buy yourself time freedom so that then you can go and just pour your life into making an impact on other people, creating something that's meaningful, that blesses people, that changes hearts that you know takes care of the the, the poor whatever it is um and 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 this book does such a great job of addressing like hey what are those emotional hiccups that we get stuck in that keeps us from actually going out and taking care of those big goals those big dreams that we know we've got um in a way that uses psychology and no like woo woo or anything like that and in a way that literally does like unwind you and get you just kind of you know detached from your emotional junk. Um, and it's, I couldn't, you know, uh, you know, say higher things about it. And like I said, I'll make sure I put a little link in there for you guys. Um, cause it's such a good book. Now, one of the main steps here is to figure out what are your values? Okay. So when it comes to like your career, what is it that you value? Is it, you want to be showing up every day, working hard, or is it, you want to be doing something more creative and artistic? Like, what are your values there? Um, you know, uh, friendships, uh, leisure, um, maybe if you're, if you're, you know, married and you have children, um, parenting, uh, you know, community or, you know, political activities running, you know, in, in, in your community, um, you know, obviously like, you know, romantic relationships, I'll put it, are there for romantic relationships, um, your, your financial security. Um, so I'll put FS for financial security, uh, health and wellness. We'll, we'll, we'll put like, you know, health here and, uh, you know, further educating yourself. Um, you know, really important one to me, uh, spirituality um, as, as a Christian. So, you know, like th these are the categories you'll, you'll find in this book. And she's got a really great exercise where, you know, just by looking at this, this list real quickly off the top of your head, just go ahead and rate like, uh, you know, um, like on a range from one to a hundred, how important are each of these, right? So, you know, like, uh, and, and it's okay if like, it, it'll change at times, but like right now in this moment, like what's most important to you? So, you know, maybe, you know, financial security is like, dude, this is totally a hundred right now. I got to get this figured out. Maybe, um, you know, yes, you're, you're a parent, but your children, they are, you know, they're uh, graduating from college or, you know, they're graduating from high school and they're going off to college. So maybe parenting right now, you're kind of like, wow, this used to be like really high up on the priority, but you know, this is actually starting to decrease. It's just kind of a 40 right now. Um, you know, maybe you're, you're, you're thinking like, I, I really want to, um, you know, pursue that master's degree in this, you know, creative thing. Um, but I, I really, I, I know I need to take care of the financial security first. So maybe, you know, this is like a 20, because you know, you want to do it down in the distance, but uh, right, right away, it's just not the right timing yet. And so go ahead and rate, you know, yourself real quickly, you know, like what, what are these hundreds, forties, twenties, and then just figure out, okay, what were the top, you know, top two to three or so, um, you know, maybe top three to five. And that immediately will tell you what's most important to you right now. 
And that will immediately tell you, okay, these are the things to focus on. And again, if you use this book, there's there's some more journaling exercises where you know you figure out in your own words, okay, what is it about financial security that you know I am am all about? You know, it's well, I want to have the time freedom so that I can go and spend more time making music, you know, whatever it is. Uh, you know, figure that out for yourself and, you know, just come up with, with a few keywords there um, and, and, and just getting clear on your values. This is going to immediately start shifting that personal battle you might have when you're feeling unmotivated, just down and like you can't seem to push through or you're avoiding, you're working on all the other tasks except for the important one you should be doing. Um, this will be a great way for reminding you like, hey, in this season of life, I'm all about time freedom so that I can go and focus and put more uh, time on music. So if I just push through here today and send out these emails and create this and, and run this, like then I can go and do that. And it, you, you just, you start motivating yourself. That's, that's like the, the secret to finding motivation is figuring out what your values are and then just, you know, reminding yourself to live according to your values there. Um, so that's a really, really, really useful exercise that, that you can use. I, I, there's so many things I could go on, you know, in, uh, you know, this, this video would probably be, would be super, super, super long um, to keep it short. I would say maybe the only other thing um, that I would add, like tactically is figure out what, what the most meaningful component of your business is. And I'll probably do a separate video just on this. We'll call it the zone of genius video or something like that. Um, and, and figure out like, what is the most meaningful thing for you? One of my clients, I, I was uh, working with him doing some consulting. And at the end of the day, I like, I could tell like in our first few conversations, I was like, you know, man, you, you, you don't have the joy in your business right now. He's like, yeah, you're absolutely right. And I was like, yeah, I, I can hear it in your voice. I can see how you're responding. I, you're, you're a little sluggish on things. What, what, you know, what'd you get in this business in the first place to do? And, you know, well, oh, to make some money. Okay. But what, what does that get you? What's what's so important about that? Well, actually, really, I, I you know, have this passion um, uh, uh, for creative writing and, and turned out he wanted to his dream had actually been to write a blog and, and you know, several things like that. It's basically all under the creative writing umbrella. And when we figured that out, I was like, OK, you know, right now you want money. But what makes that so important? You know, ask yourself there, that question like, OK, what makes this so important? And we found that, well, I want to work on my creative writing and I just want to keep producing, you know, written uh, content. I was like, great. So when you wake up tomorrow, before you check email, before you, um, you know, start working, before you even get ready, whatever, like you're going to have at least 30 minutes of 80, 20 time, right? If you've heard of the 80, 20 principle, and you are just going to sit down and do what you love most, which is creative writing, start writing that blog or whatever. And sure enough, boom, Next week that I saw him for our, our meeting, his mood was completely changed. He's like, oh, this is so great. I freaking love this now. Um, I, you know, like I, I, it's just when you put the the thing you prioritize most, when you put it first in your day and you just do that first before any of the other work that you have to do, you feel like you've conquered the day. You feel like you've done something meaningful. You, you, you don't feel like you've had to sell out and, you know, done this stuff in this business thing that you hate now. Um, and it, you know, you, like you, you have the thing that's most important to you in life, which is working on that, that passion project. Right. Um, and you're actually, you know, compound effects, you do that for a few months and boom, suddenly it's going to have grown and you have no idea what that could turn into. And it's really, really cool and exciting. Um, so I would say, you know, put that, that, um, the, the thing that, you know, is most meaningful for you to do, just make sure you do it for as little as like 30 minutes, first thing in the day before everything else, before the, the kids get up and, you know, life is chaos, whatever it is, um, get that done first. And now the rest of the day is, is gravy really. Um, and, and there's, there, you can get deeper into it. Cause then you might be scratching your head. Yeah. But what, what is the most meaningful thing I should do during the day? And that probably has to do with your zone of genius. Um, I don't have time in this video to, go super in depth on it, but uh, your, your zone of genius, you know, this is a great book by Gay Hendricks, um, basically figuring out like, what is it you're most uniquely suited to do? What is the work that just like re-energizes you? And it's like, you can just show up and keep doing it. For me personally, I found that it's 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 teaching, um, helping people experience a light bulb moment about things. I, you know, I can just show up and do it all day long and it just keeps feeding me and I keep going. And and it's like a, the, the spooky gift that nobody has to teach me how to do it. Um, I just know how to do it um, like in a, in a classroom setting or, or uh, you know, a stage setting, things like that. Um, 
And I've even combined that with my music when I was on tour, rather than focusing, you know, so much like on the music, I would actually focus more on like explaining the stories behind the music and teaching people how to listen to it and then performing. And my concerts, like, boom, 30, 30 concert tour booked like that once I made that little shift. Um, and I could show up and I wasn't as nervous and, and and I was performing a lot better and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, if you figure out your zone of genius, I'll probably do a, a whole separate video on that. Um, now, I did say also, like, these are all things you can do to work on yourself personally, right? So number one, you know, figure out uh, what, what your values are. Um, you know, number two, or well, I should say number one, get physical, smile, <laughs> like that'll immediately change your your, your mood and, and break the burnout like in the moment. But then longer term, okay, figure out what your values are and whatever the top two, three or five, you know, come up with a couple of keywords that you can just remind yourself like, hey, you know, I'm in this right now because it's all about X, Y, and Z. That's going to give you more momentum long term. Um, and then, you know, if number three, if you can create the habit of first thing in the day, just doing 30 minutes of your zone genius work or whatever is most meaningful to you, um, you know, you're going to transform this, this entire trajectory uh, very, very, very quickly. Now that's all for you because business problems are usually personal problems, but once you've got the personal problem taken care of, what you can also do to immediately boost your relationship with your business is inject customers into it. And uh, all the time I tell folks, this is like my number one recommendation of folks who are like, if you need more customers in your business, like if you're starting to make more money in the business, your mood generally improves. Um, and, and now you can start buying the things that are important to you. So I can't recommend highly enough my, my partner, Paul Murphy here. He's got uh, this webinar. You can go check it out. Um, I'll make sure you get the link down in the comments below uh, to, to get free Google ads. And it's like, if you can start, um, you know, getting high intent people who actively want your stuff, that's like positive energy. And I'm not a woo woo energy kind of guy thing. Um, I mean, the, the, you know, the, there's a lot of science behind it, but like, but literally just getting that positive energetic response from people, you know, reaching out to you, chasing after you, it automatically makes you kind of sit up and feel more like, Hey, okay. They're coming after me. Like, yeah. All right. It, you know, it, it, it's just different when you have someone, you know, coming to you asking for help and, and you're like, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm here to help. I'm here to serve. Let's do this. Let's get this done. Um, and it's just kind of a night and day difference. So that's what I would really recommend. Like do those three things to work on yourself first, uh, and then start attracting more people uh, into your business. And that's going to really quickly transform your relationship with the business and uh, get you out of the, I hate my business phase um, and get you to loving your business. Now, you know, comment below, you know, if, if you're struggling with something like in terms of motivation, like what is it, what is it the things, <laughs> this, this is your moment for a cathartic release, right? I, I want to hear from you guys below in the comments, like, what is it that's driving you nuts about your business right now? What is, you know, uh, like, what's your experience with, you know, motivation? What, what is it that's just kind of feels like a barrier, a block that's, that's overwhelming you, the, the burnout, like what is going on in your business right now that you just need to get off your chest and, and, you know, share with some folks. Um, and then, you know, make sure you hit the bell and subscribe because my next video is going to be on the secret to sustainable growth, um, especially in 2023, which is how to add a successful recurring revenue model to your business with real life examples. We'll get real deep into that one. Um, and as always, let me know what else you'd love me to uh, do just in terms of covering in these videos, going more in depth. And until then, I'll see you. Stay awesome.